Hi friends, welcome to Moody Blooms. Today we are going to talk about problems with your rubber plant leaves. So specifically the white spots that show up on your plants and how to clean them. And we're going to go over a couple different ways that you can get rid of those. And there's a couple common reasons why that you can get those white spots on your rubber plants. And it could be from overwatering, powdery mildew, pest infestation, sunburns, mineral and salt buildup, cold drafts, or cystoliths. Now, sometimes it's just, you know, dust and it just needs to be cleaned off. But the ficus plants are members of the mulberry family, which includes the genus ficus. And they usually have these regularly spaced spots as a normal part of their morphology. They're commonly misidentified as pests or glands, but they're actually called cystoliths. And each cystolith is contained within a cell called a lithocyst. Now these spots may resemble bugs, but cystoliths are actually calcium carbonate crystals that form on the cell walls. They're not harmful to the plant either. There's actually a number of theories regarding their function, but some studies have actually found that the cystoliths may improve the plant's ability to photosynthesize more efficiently because it can scatter out the light and improve the light absorption. If you pick up a plant like I did from a nursery and they're covered in spots like this, you're going to definitely want to clean those leaves. My guess would be that they probably used a hose and just kind of sprayed everything down and there were just water spots. But a lot of times the you'll get this like dried liquid around the lithocysts because the plant can often excrete their minerals on the leaves as like a pale whitish spot or hard droplets. The white buildup of minerals, which is usually salt, is just the plant forcing that out through the glands of the leaves. And this is common when you use hard water for your plants. Now the salt deposits on the leaves will rub right off with a damp cloth or a paper towel. If they don't come off, you can try a few different methods to remove them. I personally like using something acidic like vinegar or lemon juice to help break down the mineral buildup. Now the first thing you can do, again, like we discussed earlier, is just to take a damp cloth. I like to use microfiber cloths and wipe down the leaves. If that doesn't do it, then you can try something like what I did here. I used a mixture of vinegar and water. And what I did is one tablespoon of white vinegar to one quart of distilled water. You can also use rainwater or you can use water that's sat out overnight for at least 24 hours just to allow some of those minerals to dissipate. But, you know, some even use a 1-1 ratio of vinegar to water, but I found the tablespoon to a quart of water works great. And then you just get the cloth, you dip it in the mixture, and then just wipe down the leaves. You may, did, may need to make a couple passes at it. Another option that you can do is use some type of a, a lemon or a lime, and the acidity in that helps break down the minerals. And so what I like to do is mix one part lemon or lime mixture with one part water and then dip it in the solution and, and wipe down the leaves. I always like to wipe down the leaves with just plain water afterwards just to get rid of any residue. You can also use a some water with like one or two drops of a mild soap and that helps clean the leaves. Just make sure that you do rinse them off really well to get off any residue and also make sure that you don't put it into direct sun afterwards so that it you know causes any issues with sunburn on the leaves. I've also heard that the inside of a banana pill works. I personally have never tried it. I'd love to know if any of you have tried it and it works in the comment section. Um, another thing people use also is neem oil. I personally don't use that. I don't use neem oil that often, So, but I always have vinegar on hand and I always have lemons on hand. My parents have a huge lemon tree and it pretty much produces lemons year round. Although I don't always have fresh ones on hand, I usually just slice them up and have them in the freezer. And what I do is I just pull them out of the freezer. I put a couple slices in a mug, boil some water, and then I just pour the boiling water on the frozen lemon slices, mix it around, let it sit for a little bit, make sure that it's at room temperature. And then I just dip my cloth in there and then wipe it down. That also seems to work for me as well. Now I also have some suggestions for what not to use on your plant leaves. Definitely don't use any cleaning wipes that have any alcohol in them. I also would suggest staying away from baby wipes or any type of glass or lens cleaners or you know like a Windex spray. I would not use that. Many people use leaf shine sprays. I personally don't. I've, I've always heard that they can clog 
the leaf pores and so I, I don't use them. So if you are using these mixtures and none of them seem to work and it's like a brown or a more of like a crustier type of a spot on the leaf, it could be edema. And that's a whole another separate issue. That is a physiological disorder that can affect all plants really. And it occurs when the plant takes up more water than it can rid itself of during the transpiration process. The word edema or edema, depending on where you're from, it both are used interchangeably. It actually means swelling. And that's usually the first symptom. It comes in the form of a pale blister or a water-filled bump on the leaves. And under a variety of conditions, the plant's internal water pressure can become so high that the leaf cells actually rupture and it leaks the contents into the intercellular spaces on the leaf tissue. I know I'm nerding out here with the inner workings of the plant. So just keep an eye on your plants. And if that is an issue, then you know, you're definitely having some humidity issues or overwatering issues. I hope you enjoyed these tips on how to keep your beautiful rubber plants nice and shiny. If you have any extra questions or any suggestions on what you use to keep your plants healthy and shiny, please leave them in the comments below. And we'll see you next time on Moody Blooms.